for this recursively defined sequence. We have a sub 0 equals 2, and then to get the nth term, we're going to take n plus 1 multiplied by the previous term in the sequence. So let's try to work this out now. So what is a sub 0? a sub 0 is given as 2. What is a sub 1? a sub 1 is going to be inside of the parentheses 1 plus 1, which is 2, multiplied by the previous term of the sequence, which was the number 2. So we'd be getting a 2 times 2 here, also known as a 4. And what's a sub 2? a sub 2 would be 2 plus 1 inside of the parentheses sub would be 3 multiplied by the previous term of the sequence, the a sub 1. So that would be a 2 and a 2. So we're probably looking at a 12 here. Okay, a sub 3, what would a sub 3 be? That would be 3 plus 1, also known as 4, multiplied by the previous term in the sequence, which is 3 times 2 times 2. So it looks like now we're getting, what, 4, 12, 48, right? And so on and so forth. So now as we're getting ready to try to determine what a sub n is, let's look to see if we can see anything inside of this, uh, inside of the pattern, if we can determine a pattern here. Now I think that I can see that the n plus 1 is going to increase every single time by 1. So the next time we're going to be throwing in a 5 and then throwing in a 6, etc, etc, etc. So that leads me to realize that these right here, the 4, the 3, the 2, and sort of the tacit 1 that isn't even there, is forming a factorial, right? It's a 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. It's a factorial. And where does that factorial begin? Well, the factorial begins on one more than the subscript of the particular term that you're looking at in the sequence. And then don't forget that there's also this little 2 sticking off of the end. So when I try to set up my nth term, my nth term is going to have a 2 in it, the 2 in it coming from the end part right there, that 2 that was the initial condition. And then it's also going to have this factorial that starts at the number one higher than the term of the sequence. So 2 times n plus 1 factorial. So it's looking to me like our formula, our closed form, is going to be a sub n equals 2 times n plus 1 factorial. And should I test this out? Yeah, I got a lot of time left on this video, so let's just test one out to see if this is working for the a sub 3. We discussed that that should be 12 times 4, which is 48. And if I were to place, replace n with 3, what would I get in this particular formula? I get 2, or a sub 3 would be equal to 2 times 3 plus 1 factorial, which is 2 times 4 factorial. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, so that would be 24. And sure enough, 2 times 24 is 48. So it looks like our formula is working.